Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to discuss about the bypassing the XLS filter. So these are ongoing series. Uh, we completed six part and the last part was about the pseudo protocol. So this is not just a recap, but instead of JavaScript, we're going to focus more on the VB script today. So just to kind of quickly remember what the pseudo protocol is, so that's something that can be accessed in the manner of a protocol, but it is not in fact a protocol. So uh, I think we saw the example last time, the Ahref, then you put the JavaScript uh, call on alert. Generally, we do like, you know, HTTP, HTTPS, Google.com or something. So this is not a protocol. JavaScript is not a protocol, but it's a pseudo protocol. So last time we covered different test cases on uh, how the JavaScript or maybe like, you know, uh, the different way of encoding works. Uh, this time we're going to focus on the VB script. So uh, similar to JavaScript, VB script is also a pseudo protocol, but it is not so common. Um, I guess the primary reason is because IE has stopped uh, support for uh, for VB script from IE 11, the age mode. Although uh, many sites are still uh, capable or compatible with the other IE version, so probably that's the reason this is like you know still something that you should know about if you come across. Maybe sometimes you're not able to. Uh, the site is only accessible through IE, or maybe you know uh, they are using still like an older version of the IE. Then probably you can use this to bypass the filter and and perform the access attacks or task test. So that's it. Uh, the so let's. Let's get down to the details, like how you can filter the uh, certain, like you know, blocked uh, rules by the WAF or filters. So to invoke the VB script, we generally have used the VB script uh, as well as, like you know, uh, the VBS. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is the VB script colon message box one. So they're similar to JavaScript alert. Uh, the other option you can use is the instead of VB script you can use the VBS and message box 2 so these two are applicable for the IE8 now the third one VBS alert uh, so this is of course similar to JavaScript but we are just using VBS and the last last thing is VB script alert 4 and the last two so if let's say your application is supporting IE edge uh, then the last two should work on that. Now, unlike JavaScript, uh, I think till version 8, the code is case insensitive. So this is very useful when the application transforms the input. So as you can see here, uh, we have, so like, you know, um, this was in case sensitive. So you can use this as uppercase, lowercase, you can play it around however you want to bypass such filters. So this is very critical to know. Uh, now t let's take a look at some other uh, encoding techniques, right? So for example, let's say the VB script alert, which uh, I taught you in the second or third slide, is blocked. So this part is blocked. Now how do you bypass it? So the one way you can do that is you can use VB as script and then you encode that particular thing like the colon part and then you use it uh, the other portion you can also like encode the s part and then you can use it so these are the two variations you can do but one thing you I want you to remember is IE is a null bytes friend so like you know it, it actually executes or it actually processes the null so we can use the capability or we can use the function to our advantage. So uh, here again in our example VBS script alert is blocked so what you can do is you can insert the null character here which you can see colon BS or you can have it here uh, like you know uh, m person hash x o o we did here as well before the BS and then here you can also have like you know null character between C R I and P. It's not like it's a space it's not a space character but it's a null character which you can use and you can still get the successful result. 
Now, there are a uh, couple tools which can help. Uh, the first one is the script encoder tool. Uh, and that's an like you know an old feature that Microsoft provide was the script encoder tool, and this feature allows us to obfuscate VB script and JavaScript code, and was originally designed to prevent users from inspecting clients and script code. The other uh, tool you can use is the script encryptor. Uh, so these command there is a command line utility uh, S R C E N C. But it's only available in the older version of the Windows. So uh, probably if you have like a latest version, it might not be uh, available. But online, there are some tools for this purpose. Uh, and the script, encrypt, uh, script encryptor is one of them. Uh, here is the like, you know, uh, little screenshot on uh, how, how it looks and how do you use that tool. It's a, uh, of course, you can also use like a... I think there is an add-on for the burp as well, but I'm not 100% sure. So here are the other encoding techniques that I've used. Like, you know, on error, you can use VB as script encoder. So this is like an inline, and then you encode. Uh, this is a different kind of encoding that we have used, like different ways how you can interpret that, right? So this is a, a, a good understanding on how just with the JavaScript, how you can use the VB script to encode such uh, and bypass such filters by WAF. So uh, we have we have few things to cover in this uh, exercise bypass uh, until we put this to rest. So probably uh, next time I'll, I'll I'll show you the few techniques which are left. Uh, but let me know what other bypass techniques that you have used or, or would recommend in the comment section below. The links which I have recommended uh, to the tools are in the description below, so check it out. And uh, also, like you know, there is also a link to follow our Facebook page for the regular updates, so please do that. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.